Now this could get a, the discount, but it's a 50-50. So Yusel's gonna get it, right? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yusel gets the discount. <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah, uh, Anduin. Huh, this should be interesting. Our Hearthstone highlight today uses the deck Yassel's Germination. So this is a deck that uses Yassel Windsinger. She's a 9 mana 5-5 five five that reduces the cost of your spells to 1. And the spells that we really want to reduce the cost of are Overflow and Germination so that we can heal ourselves, cycle through the deck, and summon extra copies of really big threats, including potentially Malagos. And Malagos can actually make really good use of the discount together with Swipe and Starfire being able to go face. Yassel rarely sticks to the board long enough for us to pull all the stuff off together, but you can have some pretty crazy, pretty bizarre games with this. And the highlight this time shows off some of what you can do with Yassel, including the fact that she does increase the cost of Innervate and Moonfire to 1 from 0, so you want to keep that in mind as well. Now just a warning, the win rate with this was abysmally low, so keep that in mind if you're um, trying this for anything other than just memeing. But even with the low win rate, the games were a ton of fun, so check out this highlight and let me know what you think. So this one, yes, we do have Wraths. Okay. Priest. Fun. Board clears for days. We do have Ysera Unleashed. We usually have enough time to pull shenanigans off. And he's going to have no idea what hit him. Unless, you know, it's Sethic Veilweaver, Apotheosis, buff, 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 smack you in the face and you die. In which case we cry. <laughs> if we don't get something in the way first. We'll see. This one also only has one, two, three dragons. Yeah. So the Breath of Dreams is mostly card draw. Sometimes if we're really lucky, it's ramp. Okay, Imprisoned Seder right now is guaranteed to discount Yassel. I don't want to ramp him out or coin him out or anything like that. If we had a dragon and we also got Breath of Dreams, then it would be worth coining. But uh, even if we top deck Breath of Dreams here, I'm not going to coin it because it's the the chances are extremely low. Not that it mattered, because we didn't get it. But yeah, I don't think we ever coin Imprisoned Seder next turn. We want Overgrowth as soon as we can get it. It does increase the chances that we discount something other than you sell, and we can't go as absurd, but... Survivability. And honestly, if we top deck something in between, we can't uh, play any of our... <laughs> Expensive minions out. Imprison Seder into Imprison Seder. Oh, ramp. No, 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 die. Sethic Veil Weaver must die. Um, that is a vile evil card that needs to die. I like the card back. What is this one? That is really pretty. Sadly, you don't really get to see your own card back very well. You get to see your opponents, and you get to see like half of yours. But like, that looks really cool. That looks meh. <laughs> I saw the uh, really cool um, three streams that they did showing how they were building the uh, September card back. And that was a lot of fun to check out. Okay, so we didn't get any ramp. I could swipe that, though a fair number of buffs Next turn I can swipe it. If it's Apotheosis, even with the coin, I can't hero power it to death. So not quite sure how we do this. Next turn we might just drop in Imprisoned Seder number two, so that we ensure that um, the first Imprisoned Seder does not discount. He does have Apotheosis. If we top deck a damage, we're going to... Um... Oh wait, swipe just kills it. Die. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, now this could get a, the discount, but it's a 50-50. So Yassel's gonna get it, right? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yassel gets the discount. Okay. 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> right? Wow. Yeah. Uh, Anduin. Fun. Okay. So, never iron bark. We don't care enough about the 3-3. Three, three. Okay, Moonfire. I mean, we heal as 4-2, but we heal ourselves and we draw, which is... Oh, wait. But we don't do anything this turn if we... So many contradictions. <sighs> For the memes! Sacrifice for the memes. <laughs> okay. So, Yasel is going to be super cheap, so we can overflow on top of it. Go. Oh, I should have coined first. Yep, yeah, we're fine. All right. Okay, we got to do stuff with her. <laughs> but we have four zero cost spells in hand that have all gone up in cost. Um, Alright, and he's gonna kill you, Cell, I'm sure. Which means we get our uh, mana back, our zero cost stuff back. Ah, uh, fudge. I hate that card. I hate that combo. That is an absolutely disgusting combo that needs to die. Yeah, this version doesn't run exotics, uh, exotic mounts. So we can sweep, use both swipes. We can moonfire, starfire that. Contradictions. We don't care about having um, things because we don't have exotics mount seller. Man, that might be. We want might want just one at least. Um, How curious! Triple ramp still doesn't give us. We need to kill that, um, or to use Starfire. So we'll hold back. Okay, our opponent's gotta be like, what the heck is our opponent playing? So we go to. 14 here. Okay. Starfire. And then we could coin, coin, coin overgrowth. Good half time route number two. He's obviously not a Highlander deck. If he doesn't have it in hand, or Shadow or Death, or you know, a bunch of their other stuff, then we're pretty good. Currently, he's showing nine damage, so we're live at five. Five from hand would be a bit of a challenge, being able to get through this and do fall from five from hand. So we've already lost Yisel. Overflow now is going to be absurdly good. That's. 
difficult to get through. I mean, he buffed it for me, making it more difficult for him to get through. Yeah, you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, I mean, by this point, you might be able to guess. But... Okay. Eh, not bad. Sleep now. Actually, I don't think we really want to uh, go through our deck anymore. I'm going to take six. We just healed for five. This is very questionable. But I'm going to give this six six. I mean, if he doesn't Plague of Death here, our counter is fun. <laughs> Even if he does, we get three more dragons from Dream Portals. And uh, there's potential germination going on. Okay. So he kills it. Oh. All right. Are you gonna summon me more six sixes if I go in face here? <laughs> um. That is sizable. That's annoying. He's out of cards, just about. Uh, currently, we can punch through that 614. I'm still feeling relatively safe at 13. Fine, let's draw one. Okay. So Alex draws a next turn. If much of this survives, gives us lethal. If he clears it, we overflow after Glowfly Swarm. Because. really helping much. So he gets an excess mana, and he did three damage to a minion. Oh, and he drew one. Okay. So he drew two. But he only has two mana. Is he dead? I think he's dead. <clears throat> Ah, and Malagos. Uh, yeah, Moonfire is the only direct damage, so it's Alex Draza. Yassel was played. What did she do? <laughs> she helped us play a swipe. a couple other things actually so yeah that was a game that used you sell pretty well okay thank you thank you <laughs> okay so we could Zixor prime run three of those in and smack him or we could you sell and then germination on Malagos only our moon fires then again our moon fires are amazing if we draw those huh. and maybe he doesn't like he's got nine attack so we're alive at eight Um, he needs a lot of damage to kill us. And that's it this time. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to tap that like button, smash that subscribe button, and share your perspective in the comments below. We release videos here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. 
And if you want to see the experiments happening live with the possibility of your comments showing up on future videos, check out our stream at twitch.tv forward slash ssalchemist. You're awesome. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day.